ka. May OCR ba to? Kasi 2019 pa po ito eh. At least there should be an updated OR. Saka 2019 to nabili. Dapat may plaka na po ito. Kasi ang naging ang problema natin ngayon, you're running without the plate number front and back. Tapos wala rin kayong conduction. So I understand walang conduction to since imported to. Diba? Pero you have an OR na eh. ORCR. So supposedly, may updated registration to ng at least 2022. Pag wala po itong updated registration, ang problema po natin dito may impound to. Kasi sa kumpanya kasi ito sir, sa kumpanya. Opo, opo. Naintindihan ko pero bago tayo lumabas ng kalsada, dapat po yan meron tayong hawak na ORCR. Galing na dyan sa loob eh. Tinalap na lang sa akin kasi ipabiyahin nga dyan sa may ano. Bawal nang ibiyahe yan. Ano, ano ko lang kasi yan kasi hindi naman ako nag-direct talaga yan. Bawal sa akin mag-direct talaga yan. Nasasakot nga rin ako yan. There's another rider, obviously no crash helmet. He might just try and turn around and run away, let's see. They are ushering him forward. Alright, he's turned off the bike. Okay, what's he gonna do? Jan Lang. Okay, at least he has a license, so it'll just be a ticket instead of being impounded. That's much better. Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road. Right now they're assuming took us to these three vehicles. One of them's in the road, two of them's on the sidewalk. So far, no drivers have come out for these. I suspect they might be here for repair because they are parked in front of an auto works store. And there's a lot of other vehicles parked nearby also. This is usually the time that someone would come out and say, hey, wait, let's see. And there you go, someone did come out from the business holding a box of keys. Obviously it's too late because that one has already been pulled onto the flatbed. And likewise, the red van that was behind it is also going up on the flatbed. So that only leaves this one on the sidewalk, which they could rescue if they can show a valid license. And there you go, someone did hand over a license for this one, so they can drive it away, instead of letting it be impounded like the other two. And right now you'll see this one being ticketed, parked on the sidewalk. And I also saw the Skog team in the background pick up a sign that was on the sidewalk. A little further along you see a whole bunch of tricycles that have been picked up for illegal parking. I think these were specifically included in the complaint. It looks like there's another tricycle here on the sidewalk. They're just clearing the cardboard off. And then they load it onto this tow truck here. It looks like this is Barangay Fairview Tolda. That's why the waiting shed has a TV installed, a mirror, a bed, sofa, even a ref. I'm not sure if it's plugged in. But yeah, unfortunately, some trade schools don't have drivers and they're parked on the sidewalk or the road. So that's why they end up on the tow truck. It's a toilet. <laughs> Make yourself at home. That's a nice vehicle, but unfortunately it's parked on the corner, obstructing the sidewalk. That's why they're bringing in the tow truck. I think they're going to try and pull this one away. And talking about towed vehicles, there goes another one. Nice truck, but I guess they don't have a parking space. And if you're wondering, yes, someone came out with this one. Unfortunately, too late. So that will still be taken to Tamana, Marikina City. This rider just bumped into the operation. Unfortunately, no crash helmet. Oh, what a surprise. It's in the box at the back where they'll still issue a ticket because at the time he was seen he was not wearing the helmet a lot of people really do that they carry the helmet so if they get flagged down they can say no i have a helmet look just give me a chance they may have already been apprehended 10 15 20 times in the past doing the exact same thing flagging down that gentleman what a nice motorcycle but slippers and no crash helmet he has some tiny little mirrors on the side of the bike all you can see when you look in them is the face of the driver so i think they're just for checking out your lipstick or your eyeliner or just how beautiful you might look compared to actually 
seeing if there are vehicles beside you or behind you. He was whispering something to the enforcers, so I don't know if perhaps... Anyway, let's see if he can show a license. I guess probably not, to be honest. He said he doesn't have a driver's license and he doesn't have a helmet. So that bike will now be impounded. And here's the towing crew now, ready to take the bike away. I heard the enforcer ask the gentleman, do you have any kind of ID at all? He couldn't show anything. And there it is, up on the tow truck. No shoes, no helmet. So there's actually a twist with this. The reason why he came and approached the team is because he wanted to find out about his car that's been towed away, a Hilux. So his car was towed and now he's been apprehended for riding without helmet and without shoes. That's a bad morning for this guy. The team are on West Avenue and there's a lot of motorcycles going up on the tow truck. Unfortunately, they're all parked on the sidewalk. That's why they've been ticketed and then eventually towed because there's no driver to move them. If you look here, all of these vehicles are parked legally because remember on West Avenue and some of the surrounding streets, the parking is on the outside and then the sidewalks on the inside. So all of these motorcycles, they're also parked legally. Same with these cars here. The ones that got impounded were actually on the sidewalk, which is on the inside. It is separated with bollards, but sometimes people ignore it because there's no more space to park. For example, here, you'll see this motorcycle is on the sidewalk, while all the motorcycles on the right side and the cars are in the parking area. It looks like there is paid parking available inside, so perhaps if there's no more slots outside, you really have no choice but to just pay and go inside, because if you obstruct the sidewalk, you end up being towed away. You'll see a big sign in the background, no parking anytime, and then there's a taxi here and this tricycle. You'll see a lot of signs along this street, no parking both sides, but there were so many vehicles parked here. Some drivers are quick enough to jump in the vehicle and drive away before getting a ticket, but a lot of them are unattended. They actually towed a lot of cars away from here just a couple weeks ago, actually. And I guess they'll be towing more again today. Looks like one of those cars already lifted by the tow truck. I'll go to Tamana.